This is the comic hall and Ron table discussion. No. Oh. <laughs> hey, it's the comic hall crew. Look, that's the hell right. Hey man, we're gonna get this We're gonna get this shit right. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it in no taste right now. Comet Hall crew is in effect. I'm just so excited because we've got a deep panel tonight. I'll, I'll, I'll stand. She's standing a hole in your head, man. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, we we going to get it. I'm, just, I'm excited. We got we got a big panel tonight, man. It's, I'm so excited. I mean, it's the excitement of this episode, of this of this show tonight. Yeah, I've been yeah. waiting all day. It's just like when you wait for the store to open up so that you can go in there and get the books before everybody else get them. It's just like that tonight. I am excited to be here. We've got Al in the house. We've got G Man in the house. Buddy. We got Chris in the house. We got Sean in the house. We got Remo in the house. And we've got Tito, aka Kingdom Comics, in the building. Tito. Tito. X will be joining us. And uh, who that should be joining us a little later on tonight as well. Fellas, how's everybody doing? Good. Doing great, man. Hey, Doing I good. just want—I just want to ask Reem on one thing. Why? Why is it big Reem now without the the M and the O? <laughs> Mainly because uh, everybody else called me that, man. So, it's like, you know, like why not, man? Why not? So, so, so now you got—you can't even say Reem no more. It's just big hey, Reem. You can't. Hey, it's still all good, man. <laughs> hey, I know what the <laughs> page is. Hey, man. The quote. The quote. Hey, the my quote. niece and nephew call me that, so it's like you know what I'm saying. I just like whatever. <laughs> Everybody at work calls me that. So, the quote coming to America. Uh, I met you. Your name was Remo. Your name gonna still be Remo. <laughs> <It'll> be real. <laughs> well, I don't call you Remo. I'm calling you Remo. I'm gonna call you Remo. <laughs> call you Remo. <laughs> Remo. All right. So it is our favorite time. Our favorite episode. A favorite segment. Oh, and let's boy. get hold it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All into now, I gotta it. get the right one because me and Al to put his Al. Hey man, Al, y'all don't know how much work Al to put in the last few days. There it is. I got it. Number one. I got it, Al. I see it. I see. All I right. make I get the right one. All right. You must be out of your goddamn mind. But my prices are reasonable. What? Oh, there it go. Right, you must be out of your damn mind. Our favorite segment where we analyze some of the shittiest eBay listings that you can find. Here we go, right out of the gate. Let me get the staff screen up, just get this lined up right. Oh boy, out of the gate, right on the heels. Mm. Are you kidding me? What right on the heels? Wow! <laughs> a book that was in dollar bin. That is still a dollar uh, bin it, book, and I don't I even know DC, and I know that's a dollar bin. Book. I saw it yesterday in a dollar bin. I'm just Tito Al. We've been in stores and seen this in dollar box. We we know that this is a staple. This is one of those staples. But off the air, we talked about booth number one. Yeah, this is one of them too. This is <laughs> yeah, just like really goof. Big goof. <laughs> There ain't nothing special about issue night. Like they don't have five watchers. <laughs> they watching to see who's stupid. Hey, the three, of are, three of them are their friend. <laughs> I, 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 I was, yeah, I was just gonna say. I'd say to that person, "I'm sorry." <laughs> they just want to see if it's sale. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. That's well, that's ridiculous. I, I just, yeah, when I saw that, I was like, oh, "Really? For what?" Tito, you know anything about this? Anything special I'm missing? This new stand edition, anything? No, no. I read the say. I read the entire run of that of Earth Two. It wasn't even that good, and I'm a DC fan. Yeah. Like it wasn't. It wasn't even that good of a run. It, the, the only thing. Hey, that are you on the page? Like that is. Is that a screen? Is that a yeah, screenshot or is that? A, that's, no, that's, that's that's on a, eBay. What's happening next? That's a description. Description. Yeah. Buddy. What's up, y'all? That's it. Earth 219 CGC 9. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm checking my CLC to see if I got it because I'm gonna sell that some bit, man. I'm telling you. Thousand dollars for that's man. Come on, man. Like 
Hey, what's this dude's eBay rating? Yeah, <laughs> <there you go. laughs> <laughs> it's this is only listing. Ninety-nine point eight percent. Wow, it's only sold one item. <laughs> 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 so of they course you got a high perfect. rating. Like, but they weren't even perfect. Right, like how you get a ninety-nine point nine eight on one transaction? Yeah, no kidding. Good lord! <laughs> wow, that's that that ridiculous. As as Matt said, as a nine, as a ten, as an eleven, as a twelve. I ain't, got, I ain't got that issue, but I know I've read it, and it wasn't that impressive. Like that, that ain't even number one. Like, I, actually, is, I actually need it in my run, so apparently I'm just gonna skip 19 and go straight to 20. <laughs> <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> so is that, is that the first appearance of the? Uh, look, uh, look, look right there. Look right there. What is that right there? What is that? There's nothing. There's nobody that's appearing in that. Nothing. There's nothing going on. So it's there's the first nothing. appearance of nobody then. It's the first appearance of nobody. Nobody. There's no. nothing. Man, Cam please. Cameo by nothing to see here. There ain't nothing in that issue that's that's special. Nothing. No. There's... Big shout out to the chat, Matt. Yeah, I know what I'm trying to go through. Yeah. There you go, buddy. Ace. Ace. Fantastic. What's happening? Yeah, we know. Know. Ace. 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 made it through. Yeah, Thanks for stopping by right now. Okay. Next up. <laughs> Dead oh, oh. What? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Hey, honey. You're dead. Hey, 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 look at this. One is, is Larry. One Yo. is 69 for $6,000. <laughs> I now, just seen this on the wall at a shop for like 40 bucks. I'm about to go <laughs> buy it and flip it. <laughs> we watch, <laughs> me, me and X watched Larry buy this at the, at the Atlanta Comic Con. For what, what was it, seventy five dollars or something? The whole yeah, set for like seventy five dollars. The entire <laughs> That's my set. My favorite. I got a, all runs of, of Deadpool. Six, Six grand. grand. Yeah. Six grand. Twenty twenty dollars for shipping. <laughs> Expedited <laughs> expedite <laughs> shipping for twenty dollars. And you know what's suspect about this is that that looks like a damn. Yeah. Regular pictures that you can find on Google, right? Yeah, on no, eBay. That, yeah, right. That, that's not, not even an actual picture of the book, right? <laughs> yeah, start uh, go to the description. Go to the description. I'm gonna actually, see I think that is the picture from yeah, that's what I want to see. description. There you go. It's the same as the title, what CGC 9A? Where, where, where is the where CGC? Is the CGC? Where? where? Yeah, why not just say he's he probably waiting for it? But that's what. At, but you know what? That's what Al be talking about a lot of times. That, that they just add on stuff on the stuff to make you uh -huh. know. It's, it's, I call them sweeteners. They try to you know. <laughs> they're like like neutral sweet. Well, if this is CGC nine eight, why would he put very very fine near mint? Yeah, hey, and why would he put just a regular <laughs> if, book if up there? Slab, he slab. got the best filters. So so he has ever. issues one through sixty nine slabbed at nine point eight for six thousand dollars. He slabbed all those issues. Is that what that says? That no, one? No, number that one is CGC 9.8. That what he trying okay, to get only number one. one. So you're paying for a bunch of filler books with the exception right. of like two or three books for six thousand dollars. I'm good. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm good. That's a fucking joke. Hey, it, it, <laughs> yeah, man, it's like almost like these guys just throwing stuff at the yeah. wall. And, and you know what the dumb part is? You're gonna charge six thousand dollars for that whole run. And you don't even want to throw in the new Mutants 98 yeah. for that as well. I mean, what the f <laughs> Come on, just, yeah, you know, Mutants 98, man. Right. Like, this yeah. is new Mutants 98. And even then, it ain't worth no $6,000. No, no but $6,000 six for the, that run? No. <laughs> no. No. There's, oh, uh, man. There's other is Ryan Reynolds I'd rather have. Is Ryan Reynolds going to deliver him? Like, is yeah. that why I said that? Like, is, is Deadpool going to show up on my doorstep? Hey, hey, hey Chris, you hold on. Yeah, Ryan Reynolds, draw it and write it and ink it and sketch it, all that. That's what <laughs> Hey, Chris, what? Your hey, wish, your hey, hey you, see what, you see what Not Near Mint said? Hold on, let me go. What are you saying? Go, go I'm looking at it. Hold on, let me, let me go back here. Hold I see on. it. I see it, man. I got it. All right. Cool. Hey, look at that. New Mutants 98. 15 grand. Really? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 those ten issues and flip them. Wow. <laughs> okay, this is a big warning to all you newbies out there that show up in the chat or watch us on the rewind. This is the kind of crap we're talking about. This is complete bogus. Yep. Be careful. Be careful. Baby, you. Here you go. 
16 new mill 98 16 grand that book is not worth 15 grand <laughs> so 16 grand and this is not even a signed fucking book exactly <laughs> like what the <laughs> fuck <laughs> i don't give a damn 9.8 come on now right like that let me, let me see the hey wait 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 wait, wait. I know. I know. <laughs> yep. yep, there it is. That's the, that's the there face. Is. That's the face. There it is. Yep. See that? Oh, man. I love it. You think he used enough fire emojis in that title? <laughs> man, I, I seen him at a shop recently, and uh, my shop uh, owner, he had uh, uh, 8.5. Someone was trying to sell him. He hadn't decided on, on buying it yet. And it looked like it hadn't been pressed or cleaned, but it was a uh, it was an eight point five, and he was like contemplating it. I was like, man, I'll buy that. <laughs> if you give me a price, I'll buy it <laughs> off you right now. You know right. what I mean? And and if it's for fifteen grand, I'm gonna beg him to sell it to me. <laughs> if I can get fifteen grand, glitter, nice to see. I will go invest yeah. in not only buying the book, but I will go pay the the best presser and cleaner to get me a nine eight, and I'm putting that bitch on eBay. Right. As much as I love that book, I'm putting it on eBay. If, if, he, if he gets 15, 16 grand for that, yeah, I'm putting it on there for 20. Yeah, it's yeah. If I pay 15 grand for that, <laughs> exactly. I call, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Well, the book that they're saying is, is 16 grand. One just popped up on the on the panel. And I guarantee you there's about four others on the panel. There you go. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I trying, mean to, I'm trying to think like, like, I'm just me thinking out loud. I'm like, 16 yeah, okay. 98. Yeah. yeah. Like, how do you, I mean, if it's easy enough to buy up to buy 98 for six for 16 grand, what would, what would the this be? Is it like a quadru quadruple cover? Jewelers? Jewelers? Um, um, 10 point oh, like what kind of pre will make it, make it anywhere near a 16 grand? Yeah. Man, look, let me tell you, let me, let me just cut to the, cut to the, cut the fact. If I'm paying 16, if I'm paying 16 goddamn thousand dollars for this book, <laughs> I'd just I just be put off by that. Amazing Fantasy, a low grade Amazing Fantasy. But if I yeah. if I got that this kind of money to go towards the book, I'm going for the gusto. Yep. Right, exactly. I'm gonna get a hot, high grade Hulk 181. I'm gonna all my silver surfing would be done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. High grade Fantastic Four, X Men, right? New Views 98. This is the yeah. book everybody on the panel got. Everybody got this book. That's this what I'm saying. <laughs> you should I'm the only person friends. crying up here that don't got it. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey I got it, but it's the facsimile. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have it. I don't have it either. I don't even yeah, have the facsimile. Yeah, you can sell, you can sell <laughs> that shit right there. Uh, nah, but if it's 15, I, don't, I mean, I don't think there should be any book from, from this era that should be 16 grand yet. There's so many other first appearances that come to mind. That I would drop sixteen grand for way before New Mutants ninety eight. There's, There's other like, worthy yeah. books. Easy. Totally, Easy. totally man. This other sets worth sixteen thousand dollars better than this. Yeah, and, and, oh, and yeah. not just that, but like books that you could spend the sixteen grand on that are legitimately investments. That's like, what I mean. Drop, like, you know what I'm saying? Like I would drop sixteen books. grand, would, but in like two it. years, it'll it'll get me double that or whatever. You know, what it, it gets better. It gets better. I give you sixteen grand oh, for no. a low grade. It get much better um, than this. It's getting better. Really yeah, good. there you go, X. Yeah. Give me Detective the first appearance of Batman. I I pay that for a low print for that because at mm -hmm. least that that's gonna hold some weight. Not this. Yes. Right. That's a comic you know you can resell and make well, money the first, back. Like the first appearance for sixteen Batman. Then I need I need to hang out with you more. <laughs> I said I would. <laughs> I didn't say I can't. I said I would. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I cover for 14 grand. 14 grand. What are you talking about? <laughs> Man, that. Mm. I, I love that cover. I love that cover. Love that cover. Does that say 45? No, that's that's 35,000 American dollars. I mean, oh, oh that made it better. All right, I got to get on. I got to get on. I'm about to eBay this bitch right now. A 9-4. I'm a, I'm, under, I'm selling. I'm selling it for twenty two thousand. Hey Chris, it's signed by Ryan Reynolds. I don't give a damn. damn. I don't give a shit if it was signed by the president. <laughs> 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 the 
No that way. Got, I don't give a fuck that Ryan it's Reynolds a nine signed four. it. It's a 9-4. Like, it's not even a 9-8. I love wow. how the disclaimer said that there are no cracks or dings in the case. Motherfucker, there better not be. My thing is, the ink better have everybody that worked for Marvel Blood in it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was thinking that about the last one. You're asking me 45 grand. Let that motherfucker well, here, look at thing look in Look at it. the disclaimer. The disclaimer <laughs> says, please check out my other item comics. Items will be picked very... What does that say? Secure. 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 Please in a nice sturdy box. What? <laughs> Be packed securely in a nice sturdy box. Hey, wow. on, on to some real news. What kind of cookies you eating on over there, Tito? Tearing them off, baby. I'm like, well, <laughs> you know, you some get in. Well, you got a real <laughs> cracker over there? Hey, when you see these kind of prices, you make me want to chew some. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm oh, sitting yeah. there like, you got. You got Ryan Reynolds to sign it. You got Tim Miller to sign it. You even got Stan Lee to sign. But what? Hey, you couldn't. You couldn't get the artist. You right, couldn't get like, J. Scott Campbell. You couldn't uh, get the you see D's comment. You see D's comment, Matt. Uh, Al, can you highlight that for me? Simply incredible. It better have some ash from Stan Lee in there too, man. <laughs> Still think it's too hot. I would, buy, I would buy six of those right now gladly at that price. <laughs> Is Al back, backstage or something? Must be at the damn. That's... Oh, Al, Al slipped, slipped the backstage. I didn't see him. Yeah, I didn't hear him come here. Just popped the money. 45, there you go. 45 grand. He popped back out. Hold on. Hold on. Right, there we go. Miller's sig Miller signature. The devil is at work tonight. Yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's lying. He's lying. That would be prices. Boy, right? Wow. Like, what? Like this is. And they're basically so saying we went over the. the <laughs> we, we, this is all forged. <laughs> this is all forged, but you know what I'm saying? Take a risk. Uh, uh, this, this is back to what I was, again, yeah. right. This is this is back to what, what <laughs> me and Al talked about. You know, people just yeah. people just getting Stan Lee to sign stuff just because he's Stan Lee. Yeah, Stan Lee exactly. ain't got nothing to do with Deadpool. Exactly. I don't care well, to they're... hit signatures on this book. Exactly. They they try like, and play don't... like Stan Lee will sign anything, and people was oh, Stan Lee signature. It's worth a lot of money. I'm like. No, man. No. I rather no. Stan Lee's amazing fantasy or stuff that he worked on. I right. would like Stan Lee to have now. If I had my Silver Surfer signed by Stan Lee, that yeah. would be awesome. Right. But like, it's my fist. Totally different. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to figure the, out. The like, TVA one up. I love it, Xavier. It's a it's a oh, variant man. issue of Deadpool. The TVA gonna come after you if you buy it. <laughs> hey, hey, Chris. <laughs> hey Chris, I got one for you. you. Ready? This one for you, Chris. You ready? Oh hell no! What? Oh my what? God. <laughs> no. Are you kidding me? That's four hundred and forty nine dollars too much. And that's a big ass cover too. <laughs> <laughs> that's five hundred and forty nine dollars. Why did he just put four hundred and fifty bucks? <laughs> that is seriously <laughs> Why would you? What? Those aren't even two great characters. Like, don't get me wrong, Etrigan the Demon is cool, but when was the last time you even saw Hitman in a comic book? That's <laughs> like I, I bought this out of Dollar Bin, man. I, I can't even tell you how to tell it. Dollar too much. There's, there's a good chance that that comic was his last appearance in a DC comic book. Like, why would you, no, this isn't even? Well, I know he had a run by Garth Ennis, you know that that ran for a long run. But after that, he he ain't really been relevant much in the DC. No, nope. right. Matt, what's nope. the description on it? Uh, it says ain't bold in this thing. Talking about a run. I'm a, I'm gonna enlarge the screen here. Here you go. It's an annual. It's an annual. Demon Annual 2. Wow. Uh, no writing or date stamps. Well, God, I hope No not. cracks or scratches on CGC case. Why don't keep it? I don't think... <laughs> there should be no... That should not have to be stated that there are no hey, cracks or scratches. I, I, like, I like the warning of, of please don't buy if you see your smuds, Newton rings, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, however, it has a, a fingerprint. Finger 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 absolutely perfect. Look at that. 
However, if you see a CGC absolutely perfect and you want a refund simply because it's a fingerprint of Newton rings, that's hilarious, dude. Uh, man, I cannot wait he to hear the soundboard. Hey, hey, he, he, ended it, he ended it how we feel. These things are beyond our control, and this right. shit is out of control. But yeah, it's my thing is, literally, didn't, that says it doesn't have it on there, <laughs> but then it turns around and says, <laughs> don't ask for a refund if you see the stuff on there. <laughs> right, right. I make sure to see it. What was that? Hey, he only included two photos. I'm like, yo, how can we see that shit on there if the you only got two and photos? the back. And how many people have to touch it? Because if you're telling me there's no smudges on it, why would I ever get one with it if you're telling me I'm going to ship it with no smudge? Right. Exactly. But it's going to be right. out of That's my control. Hey, he, he if it does have g mask gloves to be handling it. That is a horrible dream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> take it all in, Tito. Yeah, take it yeah, in. Take it in, take it in that is. Man, hey man, hey, that's that's the first piece of hit man, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, Rob, not near me, said it perfectly. Oh. I appreciate hit man love. Ask an 18 year old kid today, it'd be like, what a VHS, oh. right? Oh, like, he antique. I mean, oh man, I'd be like, I'd rather get the hit man movie with Chuck Norris in it, man. Than <laughs> oh my god, I hate <laughs> next up. Got my rain in the chat. That's hilarious. Tito has given up. <laughs> Tito just don't know what to say. That it's- he was like, "I got all of these books." <laughs> right. Like, hey, there you go, yeah. He's like, I'm about to go go slam them and throw them, throw them on eBay tomorrow. <laughs> all right, hold on, y'all. Let me. Tito just like I'm sitting on a gold mine. I didn't know mm-hmm. it. <laughs> I was gonna keep them, but now fuck that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Tito just like I see retirement in my future. <laughs> no, Tito gonna have every black label um, Star Wars figure there is. Boy, don't you know? <laughs> uh, the Tazzler. No, well, uh, no it's, it's a nine nine, but it's, <laughs> it ain't, it's it's a raw nine nine. Nine nine, a raw nine nine. Unbelievable. And what does what does Iron Man have to do just because he's on the cover? I mean, that's why because he's on the cover. Yeah, that's right. Hey, actually, you know what? I bought this for five dollars a couple MCU. years ago, <laughs> and, I, I, and I I I use it as a giveaway item to give away. So I might <laughs> have some regrets that's, after that's this. That's minty fresh right there, y'all. Hey, man. Un- unrestored. Why would you have? To, why would you want to restore a dazzler? Ooh, boy. It's not every day you can buy a comic book of an 80s pop star <laughs> hey, with but Iron check, Man. But check this out, though. Go back up, my, uh, Matt, to the top. Logically speaking, if this is a 9.9 white pages unrestored, that means if I restore it as a 10. Would it lose title, its yeah. value? If you, by if that you title, that's exactly it. what that means. I mean, right. I mean, like, there's no problem with that. That's ridiculous. 9.9. <laughs> you have failed. Not the not the Green Arrow line. Hey, hey, look, 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 yeah, I would. I don't. I don't. That, there's not enough FOMO in the world to make me buy that book. No way. No. And at 450 bucks. Yeah. But nah. what are you missing out on? Yeah, that's. I, I, I'm. I'm trying to figure out why it, this has value for 450. Who's in that book besides Dazzler? Yeah. Besides the people on the cover, yeah. it's not none of their right. first appearance. I was about to say Iron Man, but right. Iron really. Man. It's not his first appearance. You know, I'm it trying definitely to ain't his first appearance. <laughs> this book would even have a value of 400. I mean, Night- Nightcrawler on it looking like he on a TCB ad. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> that look like Hammer Valentine above Spider Man. Hold up, it's the first appearance of those strobe lights. That's what it is. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Like, come on, Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler looking like Billy D from the old Coat Forty Five commercial. Right. <laughs> I should even got on roller skates, you know? Works Man. every time. Works every time. All right, I'm going to throw y'all... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> because I'm trying to make sense of this, right? You can't make sense of it, you know? You can't. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, 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 I'm about to make sense. Watch this. Thundercast number one, 9.8. What's it going for? Silverhawks number one, 9.8. What's it going for? $2,000. 
He's just he's just ahead of the curve. Wait, wait till wait till this <laughs> around. He's around. He's I bet I bet you that's for me four hundred fifty dollars at night. <laughs> Wow, you better get that sucker slab, man. But that thing Boy. gonna get relisted so many times in order to get that. Now I've seen this one a lot over the last week or two. Yeah, me but too. Al, Al yeah. sent me this last week. This was last week. I got this. Saw it a lot last week, um, and I, I'm just <laughs> this will on did this place. did this show up on the top? Yeah, yeah, yeah but it this this book was in five. Listen, me and Larry seen this in this, I bought mine from Dave in the five dollar box, in condition. Right. In the five dollar box. I mean stat loads of them. Controversial cover. I was just about to say, what the fuck is controversial? That's right. Like, like, now. What, I don't like, I don't like he must he must be a new living in this age of you know sensitive material and shit like right. that. Because that shit's been around since the nineties, man. Stop it. Wait, did that say did that say thirty dollars shipping and handling? Thirty dollars shipping. <laughs> See, that's extra Unbelievable. This is the kicker for this one. When I sent it to Matt, I cross referenced cover price and um go collect. Yeah, nine point eight sold back in June for this same book for three hundred and seventy five dollars. You mean to tell me because you got controversial in Disney, which is an oxymoron in itself. Because Disney's man. not gonna run any controversial stuff on their channel, so yeah. I mean, you like know, they're gonna have She-Hulk jumping rope with no clothes on, right? Like, come on, man, y'all don't see the comment, golly, <laughs> about the size of a barbarian. This is going up three hundred million percent in value over the last week, right? <laughs> this comic is comic. the one Hell. you want. Not the one I want. Even paid three hundred fifty dollars for it. Like, like, why? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Bronx don't deliver the book. LeBron, not, not to your house, to the post office. To the post office. I ain't even getting into my house. <laughs> he ain't even coming to the crib. <laughs> but I would, I would see that book on the wall for like thirty bucks and be like, mm, that's a little high. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Sad part of it is, I need that for my collection, but I won't get butt naked She Hulk. So, this is a 9.6. This, this one's got 17 bids on it. Of course. No. Yeah, because oh, oh. no, 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 no. I, I thought that was still the other one. Okay. No. I looked over and saw $202. I was like, okay. Ooh. That's more like it. Right. Yeah. More All right. So, more like what? <laughs> it, it, it's better than the other. Part. <laughs> <laughs> Still ain't in the I ballpark. didn't even see it was a nine six right. until so, after. I was like, okay, it's more like, but it's a nine six. So, so yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna add another one here. This one, this was one that uh, if I can find it, let me if I can. Still more like affordable. Hold on, let me uh, let me do it. Two o two fifty. I love that. Yeah, I, I got to get this sorted out because I want y'all to see this shit. <laughs> so I, I have to somebody. That's the seller out being the other people trying to raise right. the price. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. And that's when, when the winner wins it for like 200 bucks, he's going to be like, no, I'm right. not selling it. Right. <laughs> right. Reserve not so, bid. Sold out. It is it say sold out. And like, ah, you lost the bid. Hey, Marvelous Comics. What's happening, Marvel? Hey, it's all, it's the always the, the change that kills me on them eBay deals, man. Like $202.50, $449.25. Like, what are you doing? Rollback what? prices, man. You can did it before. All right, you you can did it before this. you don't want to hit that price point that you don't want to go over. <laughs> Let me edge this out. Let me see. <laughs> hey, hey, so so sometimes, man, every once in a while, the shit will come to you. So I, I had a uh, – I just was watching the Hulk 181, and I got a, a offer, and I said, oh, shit, you can't make this shit up. This is this would be perfect for the show tonight. So oh, I'm going to show this time bone. Right now, here we go. Let me let me let me go ahead and share this screen. Shine. Now, this live ball. <laughs> now, now look at look at this shine. Look at this shine. Wait, wait a minute. Now, I want y'all to look at this. Eighty eight hundred dollars was the price, right? Okay. He said, "I offer you eight thousand and eight dollars." How can you offer somebody extra? <laughs> what the fuck is that shit? Wow. And I thought I smelled bad. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't, you can't make this up, man. Hey, look at his message, man. His message reeks of desperation. 
He says, thanks for taking a look at our items. Please consider this one-time offer for this item at the discounted price. If you have any questions, please let us know. He's trying to get rid of that book, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, $8,000. He might as well go to a con. He ain't going to get that much. $792 off. And you know how no. many Incredible Hulk, you know, Hulk enough, right? ones are out there? A lot. Yeah. Right. And you can get some probably lower grades that present pretty well. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I mean, you, enough, you, you really, really want one, you can buy a facsimile if it's that important to you. Yeah, that's what I got shit. Right. <laughs> I'm happy with my facsimile. I don't right, exactly. I'm happy with my facsimile. I got two of them. My facsimile, right. I got like two or three of them. My facsimile <laughs> looking nice and shiny in, yeah. in this micro. I'm cheating. I'll get it. So, we got a little bit of the variants from other books. So, so this is a little bit of an extension of of, uh, of our You Must Be Out of Your Damn Mind. So I, today I decided, I said, you know what? I want to go over to Mile High Comics just to see what the hell they got up there. And Mile High Comics is just is just that, Mile High. Mile High Prices <laughs> is what they got. I mean, I looked at some of these prices yep. on some of these books, man. I was just like random books. Yeah, so let, me, let me just click on, you know. Look at this. T- hey, Tito. G man, is that am I missing something about this issue of that devil? Can you imagine going to Mile High and going through their long boxes and them having every book you can dream of, but they're so high that you don't even want to walk That's out? That's why they're called Mile High. That's why they got them. I'm That's talking about just Mile regular high. issues of nothing. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? Common right. just right. nothing right. books, and you're like, God damn. Man, I haven't seen Mile High in a long time. I haven't been to the website in a long time. That's just kind of uh, right. and, ridiculous. What is that? Is that what? Is that really a five in front of there? Is that? Yeah, $563, man. This Those is what are real numbers. Mile High, man. Mile just, High. Hey, you should have been making up right now, making Georgia. <laughs> 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 What what is I I don't I don't know Daredevil that well. Somebody explain to me why it is these comic books are that like uh, just because he's supposed to gonna be in Spider Man is that it like and it's not even it's not even awesome. Daredevil who's gonna be awesome. in the movie okay. is Matt Murdock right? It's legitimately Matt Murdock. He's not even gonna put on. Oh, I see. It's signed by Stan Lee. Just oh, in, it's it's signed. Well, I it's, just, no, it was, it's signed by somebody. Signed by but, Stan Lee doesn't even mean the same thing in the movie. Nah, everything nah. is signed by Stan Lee. God rest his soul, but every I, time you I turn around, everything is signed by Stan Lee. I actually I wanna, that was a scribble. I want a box of Quaker Oats signed by Stan Lee. I know I won't get it, but you, know. <laughs> you ain't going to get it now. If you do something wrong. But now, I, I saw this one too. Cream cream wheat. Wheat. If you get that right now, I'm moving out of the 616. I'm Uncle Ben's right rice. <laughs> Like I feel like I should throw because like I've got tapioca pudding. I've got a I've got a movie adaptation of the Hulk comic book signed by Stan Lee. I feel like I should just throw it on eBay just so I can pay rent. Just cause there you go, Tito. There you go, Tito. Oh my god! What? <laughs> what? Seriously? This is this is bullshit. Is what this is. This is straight bullshit. <sighs> This is this is uh-oh, this is Hulk Hogan. I'm telling you, boy, this, this is Hulk Hogan beating Undertaker with a roll up, man. I'm telling you, this is ridiculous. This is asinine. A roll up. God, I haven't been on my highlight. I guarantee you this book. I guarantee you this book a month ago was two dollars. Look at this, forty. I just got these in the dollar out the dollar bin the other day. Look, look, out they were at that sale we went to last Friday. They these books were in the dollar bin wow. as of this past Friday. Not this, not yesterday, but the Friday before then. Man, they got Matt speaking any bonnets, man. You know something. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is after that. This was a month ago. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so that's yeah, yeah. How, how, how you doing, Tito? How you doing, man? Just shake the head, man. That's that's it. That's all you can do. Unbelievable. That's, but you know what the crazy thing is? Are paying those prices because they're still they're still open? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's the crazy yeah. part about it. Somebody's doing it. They in Colorado, right? Yeah, yeah. Colorado. Yeah. Yep. You know, the world is they own. No, what it is is they they're being kept open by these. Um, by these celebs and pro athletes 
that because it's cool now they want to start buying comments again. That's mm. that's what's keeping them open. People that but I mean, but I mean, way. it's been known, it's been known for high prices for a decade. You know, yeah, yeah. it's 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 some of the name, name you know that that it came from mile high. So let's 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 cut the prices. All right. I'm just gonna say ground level then. How about that? <laughs> I just kind of want to go there and just see it. I just want to just yeah, be like wow, just to I, be in all this the door. And like I can't believe all in. these books are so expensive. And you know, I felt the same way when I used to go to Midtown Comics when oh they first God. started out. Jesus Christ! You know, going through the back issues, I'm like, man, this like a seven dollar book, and I'm like. It ain't worth no seven dollars. This is like Spider Man Clone Saga shit. I'm yeah. like, I can't seven dollars for that. Hey, hey, y'all pray for me. I just had an order from Midtown. And Ooh. you know, normally they books take forever to get shipped to you. Yeah. I've only been waiting for like five days. Yeah. And I supposed to get it on Monday. Y'all just pray that these books are in good condition. Because I ain't well, never seen the Midtown the bag, order go out that fast. Oh. What you what you said, G Man? They stick them in paper bags. You get them in paper yeah. bags and they come in the mail. I hate that. That is that is not a I good sign. Too. Yeah. All right. Just be cautious. I got, <laughs> I got sixty books coming. Oh god. Oh, oh god. god. Damn. Mixed up. Crash bag. Well, right. we're coming hard tonight, but I'm no, telling y'all, my production, no, we, production team, no, is we, 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 are, we are a million right now. We, we, <laughs> right. To, 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 <laughs> we get a, to we get a, a thousand subscribers or something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not yeah. giving a fuck. <laughs> yeah, Marvelous said that the, that shop was in Denver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Denver, yeah. Denver Colorado. Yeah. All right, here is the cover price top ten of the week. This is a book. Yeah, I think we talked about this on the phone. I think we talked about number 10 on the phone. Didn't we talk about number 10 on the phone about a week ago? Mm-hmm. Last Saturday? Yep. X Factor, number six. This was a book that people that was thrown away. This was a book that was just, you know, it was a cast off. Matter of fact, I bought mine for 25 bucks at the, at the book nook. Yeah, I just seen one on the wall for like 30, 40 bucks, maybe like a month ago. Now look at it. Yeah. Top weekly sale, five hundred and ninety dollars. Man, this this book is it, it falls in the category with with um, Avengers Annual number ten. Yeah, this book has been so undervalued for the longest. It's, it I, I'm shocked. Like it yeah. it's still an affordable key in in today's terms. You know what I'm saying? So right. You know, one thing about that book is I had probably almost a year. A chance to get it at my shop, you know. They had it for fifty dollars, and um, I just kept putting it off. And then I got the mindset, like, all right, I'm gonna finally buy it. I go to the shop and it's gone. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I like, yeah, I, I just missed out on it, and now look at it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, 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 yeah, I mean, after that X Men movie, some of that's just they just you're telling me the X Factor that X Factor is gone for five hundred and ninety dollars in the raw a weekly sale. Yeah. See, man, like shit, I got twenty of them. <laughs> 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 the best time to buy. Like, like I can text seven problem. right now. <laughs> yeah, unbelievable. Next up, yo, that's five. Wait, 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 that's raw. Yeah, that's raw, bro. They ain't got the PGC prices this week. Oh, yeah, man. I want to see the C- what does the CGC price say for that. Let's see what it says here, y'all. Let's yeah, see. Make sure, make sure we write on this. Okay. There we go. Here we go. So let's go. Let me go down. Let's go pull it. Let's go pull the. Uh, yep. There it is. That's what it's week. All right. Here we go. Oh, raw. Wow. Is the hot, right, here you go. Ain't no way. That's still. Ain't no way. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, but ain't still, no like, way. Like, those raw prices ain't no punk right there. Yeah, yeah, bra price is what 260. Nope, yeah, man. We, uh, we gotta get a sound boy. I'll show you the price is right horn. Right? I need a bundle, <laughs> right I need a bundle, <laughs> man. Yeah, because that, that right there, boy, that's at I can't eat uh, that. That only make me make any absent. Wow, next up, next factor number six. Factor number six. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, 
hot, yeah. nice house on the lake. See, this is what I'm saying. This is stupid. Those <laughs> books just came out. That's right. stupid. That's yeah. fucking dumb. I, I, I would not pay $95 for a first basculus. I don't give a shit. That basculus is the second print that has the uh, preview of the House of Slaughter in it. No, I don't give a crap. No, I know that's why everybody's <laughs> going after it. That's insane. But it's if you go and get what is it? Uh issue I think it's six of, okay. of I mean, uh, uh, something is killing the truck yeah, children. Yeah, yeah. The same characters on the cover, so it's not even <laughs> something, something is killing the, the second the is on. <laughs> This is something. This is something. Them. Killing the collectors. He's like, holy shit! Uh, what's the yeah. the collectors are people following and taking a certain YouTuber's word as gold. Hey, you know? Wait, wait, at, wait! Save it, X. Hey, whoa! We got that coming down in this segment tonight. Don't no, no, hold tight. We got a segment hey, on that. Take, we have a special segment on that tonight. Just hold tight. Just hold tight. <laughs> but I do want to say this, and and what G Man said is crazy because me and Al talk. We I, I, y'all have no idea how much me and Al talk on the phone during the week. It, I'm telling you, it's, it's therapy sessions. Yeah, we we know a guy right now who is probably about five miles away from from Al's house. Three of these books on there left his loan box. Well, left the new 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 release table the same day it came out, and they are now at parts unknown. So we already know what's going to happen. These books are going to resurface just like Sting. Coming back in 1997, coming down from the rafters, but it's going to be on a CGC slab. We're going to come right down in the middle of the rain. It's going to fall through the roofs because if you really think it realistically, and this is for all the newbies out there, because I know they're going to eventually watch this. Just like all the 90, do you, if you bought new books like these that are out here, Basculus, Nice House on the Lake, and you get them and you put them in about a good. 90% of them are going to come back 98 slabbed. What does that do to the population of all the books that are out there? It's going to crash. Yeah, it's going to flood the market. It's going to flood yep. the market and the books are worthless. People don't Mighty, Mighty Thor, 245. Yeah. I paid $15 for one. Yeah, those are those are like $10, $15 books. Man. Yeah, and I paid 5 for the other one. And Logan. Mighty Mighty ridiculous prices. That's what those are. <laughs> At high grade too. I like I, pretty decent grade. Now I got that Avengers with Kang on the cover. I got that for that's like a dollar book, Sean. It was to the end of Loki. I'm disgusted. <laughs> you, you need that one now? <laughs> I need four and three, but man, I'm like I'm gonna have a whole bunch of holes, man. I don't even man. care no more, man. For real, man. They, they gonna drop. You have to, you you have to just let them go for yeah. a while. They are going to drop. Man, Kane gonna be around for at least six movies, man. That of book course, gonna be he high shit, be. man. <laughs> they gonna drop. I'm telling you, oh I'm my telling God. you once the new that, big bag come in the MCU, those books are gonna I, take. I can't you. believe what I'm seeing on the prices. Yeah. Well, well, well what's the deal with number three? Is it just a cover bar? Anything yeah, with Kane. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Kane, Kane versus the Mortals, I think. Man. Hey, don't worry. Hey, hey, Tito, I got this for two dollars and fifty cent last week, last Friday. Man, somebody do a variant with Kane picking his nose, and it's three thousand dollars. Oh, it gets, it's, <laughs> it, it gets better, man. It gets better. It gets better. I, I'm since we, we got this right here, so let me let me go ahead and uh, close that out. And since Al brought that up, I mean, you know, I, I got some that I saw this right before the show, so I said, you know what. This shit is gonna get crazy. So here, here we go, right out the gate. Go, I got go, that go. never, never idea. I haven't read it yet, but I got it. Record comics. What's up, man? Yo, oh, man. what's up, buddy? Yeah, here's the new well, yeah. glorious covers. Glorious cover. Twelve glorious covers. Oh man. Okay. So, so, man, this this needed that that uh, what's his name from WWE with the glorious song? Bobby Roode. Yeah. Robert Roode. Right, they they do. Oh look, there's a Scotty Young cover. I knew there was gonna be one. But you know Scotty Young's gonna be there. You no, know he's gonna well, do it. I'm in Scotty Young now. But like, oh, I, 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 I just want them to make that that Jet Magazine cover of King and put that. <laughs> <on the shit. laughs> I got a, I got a question about Scotty Young books. Like, why are people going so crazy over these over um over his covers when they ain't nothing but pop variants? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. 
they're different see, from the other ones. That's well, see, you know, he was he was hot like a couple of years ago when he first came out. He was, you know, right, and then Image gave him his comic book. Well, I hate Fairyland. Yep. Um, and Marvel let him do um a whole book. It was Avengers versus Kid Avengers versus Kid X Men. He had a whole book that he wrote and uh, drew for, and then he kind of fell off, and now he's back to doing just covers. He was the he was the it creator for a minute. He's doing he's doing uh, Strange Academy, right? He's writing that, right? Strange Academy. I think he is writing that one. Yeah. To me, that art is, and I might be in a minority when I say this, but looking at that art is to me, it's like looking at Peace Momoka, and it's just not my cup of tea. Yeah, Peace Momoka, you just passed it up. I just seen it. Yeah, right. and it, let me let me tell you from the like, standpoint of female, right? uh, which which one which one? Uh, oh, keep going, 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 keep going down, keep going, keep going, right. Right. The next one. That's yeah, right there. That 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 looks like something that you draw in your twelfth grade. I mean, in your third grade class. Right Here is, yeah, that's it, Peach Momo. Uh, the difference is that someone. Let me. Someone from art college. Scotty Young would get you an F in art college, oddly enough. But Peach Momoko, because it's a better technique using watercolors, would get you an A. I got a question for you though, because keep in mind, you know, I draw and I paint too. Right. Just yes. What is what is better about using watercolor on these versus someone like Alex Ross who uses right. watercolor and it looks amazing? Well, so Alex, you, the differences are Alex doesn't use watercolor. Alex uses regular the hell paint. If he doesn't. Put that depends back up on there. The, cover. the hell if he doesn't put, put use watercolor. There. Depends on the covers. Of them. No, he uses all of them. Every different variation in his covers. That's what gives it that that ultra realistic look, because yeah, some but, of his shading and highlights are. But he also covers. uses um, live models to get his references too. You know what I'm saying? Like he actually has like friends model for him to get the poses for I'm his covers saying, and oh, stuff like that. That's just like you can see that people. Like, it's a style. His, his, his is her, but like, her, style, her style. Alex is more realistic, yeah. I guess. Hers is more stylized cartoon. Like hers is like a. If you animated it, it would yeah, be that's what I'm saying. It's, it's yeah. Yeah. I mean, I do like some of her stuff, I'll be honest. I'm I'm gonna say something about like Momoka's art to me. It's like getting a tattoo without an outline. Uh, there you go. Okay, there gotcha. you go. I, I can agree with there's, you. There's there is sure. no sharp angles or anything, it's just yeah. one fluid motion and like coming and I'm pretty sure you can understand this from someone who draws and paints. I can't stand looking at that. Right. Some of it does look good, but yeah. not, not is, all of it. I, 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 right. probably should do two or two look good. Two of like okay. right. Because like, everybody turns into a female in, in the art that that is yeah. done. <laughs> yeah, I, I, um, my wife is reading Demon Day. You know the Demon Days book she does, and it's one of those things. She's kind of like Peach Peach Momoko's art is a lot like um, the guy who Gar- the guy who created. Garbage. The guy who created Firefly. <laughs> like, it's, good. it's good in Got short it. bursts. Got it's it. it's great on a cover, Got but it. reading an entire comic like that, it's like you said, everybody kind of starts blending together. Yeah, yes. the art looks you, amazing you, when when Momoko's doing a woman. You right. know what I mean? Because everybody is a woman when Momoko does something, but exactly. that's why her, the women look so much better. But you look at this Kane, you know. I'm, he, I'm not homophobic or anything. No, but I get it. No, he I looks it. punkish right here. He does. You know I mean? He does. <laughs> he does not look like, like he's got on leather boots, thigh highs. Leather <laughs> boots. He got on latex boots right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> latex. <laughs> like he can peel the stuff off, and I don't. Yeah. I don't. That's it's not. not and yeah. both, like he does not strike fear in me when I look at this. right. He does not look threatening in that design. Look right. like Bolivar. That one. That one's nice. Hey, I, I just want to see what iconic point bring. I want to see oh, Kane cooking graphics, and, and and that's why. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I want to see. Probably bad too, man. All right. I love the cooking breakfast thing. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next step. Get that. Get it going here. He man revelation. Have y'all watched that? I, I watched, watched, watched the entire it. season today. Yeah. I watched the entire all of them. Watching the this only morning. I don't like that I've seen on the previews is He Man has got no definition. He's a log. Ha, has am I the only person <laughs> who has seen it? Is anybody you else watched see, it? You didn't I see the finished it. product. 
G no. man, you didn't see the finished product. Didn't see the finished product. Okay, okay. nobody had watched it. I'm gonna say anything. I watched I, I, it. You watched yeah, it? Yeah, I watched it. I want to watch it. I want to watch it. All right, and, 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 go ahead. If you want, if you, if you, if you, I watch second and third season of, of uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Castlevania. You think I'm gonna go watch He Man before I watch those? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna tell you like this with, with Castlevania. You did you if you didn't watch the um yeah he did the right thing if you didn't watch the third and fourth one you can go to the last one and, and yeah. be and you, you had me yeah you had me I was like damn I gotta go watch all these no, the, the last season That's is right. close on, up there with the first season but okay. Okay. with with this one the revelations you don't even have to be an old school He Man yeah. or Masters of the Universe fan to understand <laughs> what's going on. You know I what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, what, what were your thoughts on it, man? I I enjoyed it for the for the twist on it, but I'm not gonna sit here and say it's the be all end all. What I told you this morning, y'all. What I told you this morning, y'all. Same people exact thing. Giving I told it you. So much praise because Kevin Smith's name is attached to it, right? When if you think about it, it's everything that Kevin Smith does is not gold. You know what I mean? <laughs> like it's very hit or miss, but I do like his take on it. And you could tell that he's trying to bring new people in to Masters of the Universe. And he, I think he did a great job at new collectors, or not new collectors, but new fans of it actually being intrigued. Because at the end, you're going to want to see where we go from there. What I say this morning? What I say this morning? Almost word for word what I said. <laughs> Almost word for word. Because, you know, it's like I told out, you know, we've seen He-Man, you know, everyone on this panel has watched He-Man for 40, 40 plus years. So we know the, the song and dance. So that, like Al said, uh, uh, X said, there's a, a bit of a twist there. But if you go into it with open eyes, then you clearly know that they're going to go another. It starts one way, but you clearly see it's going to end another way. Right. So not spoiling anything, but it's not he-man in the masters of the universe it is masters of the masters universe. Of the universe. okay you know that's oh. where a lot of like our group we would kind of like our age group we would sit there and be like wait a minute but then what we grew up was he-man and masters of the universe this is literally right. masters of the uh, universe revelations so okay. it's like you got to take it for what it is it's a million years after we got what we grew up on. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. <laughs> I have a question. Hey, man. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cut off the chat. Okay. So, so my question is for those, and this is for panel and as well as the chat, based on if you've seen, like if you've been watched Master of the Universe on Netflix, how does it compare to the Cartoon Network version you can't oh, compare man the mass compare you can't compare it can't it's not compare. the same thing yeah. nope not the same it's thing not at all the same thing there, there's literally no comparison you can't right. I, you can't hmm. you can't go you know nope outside of name okay. there's no comparison now one thing i will say um <laughs> listening to skeletor and you know it's it's uh, mark <laughs> hamill's voice every time Skele uh, skeletor talks you just hear the joker yeah that's and true. you're that's expecting true. to hear Kevin Conroy say something, and then you get He Man's voice. You right. know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Okay, guys. <laughs> but yeah, they. By the power. They, they did all right. Buddy. They well, did nerf some characters, so. Like, I, I heard what people were saying about it, but I still was going to watch it regardless. It don't right. take long to binge watch it either. It's yeah, you, you, it so, like 24 minutes episodes. each. Yeah, yeah. You're going gonna, you're gonna to binge watch it because you're gonna, because it's, the way they end the shows, it makes you want to keep watching to see what happens. Right. I was really hot when they when it went off at the end though, because right. I was like, "Damn it!" It was right right there when I was yeah, like, they, yeah, "Yeah, they, like, they left it? you on the cliffhanger." Yeah, so I, like, yeah. Matter of fact, the cliffhanger that they left you on, and I hate to bring up the walking sleep, but it was the cliffhanger <laughs> when we were waiting to see who Negan was going to hit. Like right. You wanted it left you wanted to see what was going to happen. Leaves you wanting more. I just hope we don't get the same outcome as the walking sleep when we saw oh, who man. got hit. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Next up, X. Leslie Grace is cast as Barbara Gordon in the Batgirl movie. Who is Leslie Grace? That's all you need to know. <laughs> Good thing though. No, like okay, for real, you know. who is Leslie Grace? 
I mean, she can't. I, know, I would rather have a no name, no name actress. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not no name. I just don't, I just don't know her. So I her no name. I'd rather have a have a no actress, actress the mantle than than whatever a a this actress is. You know, there's no yeah. preconceived notion already. It's just Tito. Oh, I've she's new. She's new. She has Tito. I've been screaming that for years. Like. Al and Matt can tell you, I've always been a fan of getting somebody who we don't know to play big characters so we don't have ego taking right. up the role. Like, when you look at Hugh Jackman in the first two X-Men movies, mm -hmm. he was a new actor trying to um, trying to portray a character that he didn't know. In every movie after that, we got Wolverine, the, oh, excuse me, the Wolverine, Hugh Jackman's vision and it was nowhere near what the comments was you know what I'm saying so I'm a big fan of getting no names who who want to earn their stripes and give us truer depictions of characters that we grew up reading and loving so I I, I can ride with that all right Chris thoughts any thoughts Chris I mean I'm uh, man look here <laughs> I'm right there. I'm right there with X when it comes down to it. Because when I saw she was cast, I was the same thing. I'm like, who is she? Like, I, I have no idea who you are, or like, why you? Why did you get? I mean, it's great y'all chose somebody who isn't necessarily a no name, but also isn't that big. But as we saw with Hugh Jackman, he started out. At, he got lucky being Wolverine. But then, like X said, after the first two movies, it became his vision of what he thinks Wolverine should be like, as opposed to reading comics and understanding the character, you know. And so here we got somebody who is not a big, big name, but is getting their feet wet, earning her stripes. So it's like, how good is she going to be being Batgirl stepping into? I mean, it's, it's not necessarily, you know, it's not a, a member of the Trinity, you know what I'm saying? But it's still as far as the Batman mythos is concerned. It's, it's and especially coming from the standpoint of us fans, she's got some to a degree. She's got to step up because think about it, the last time we got a Batgirl was Alicia Silverstone and Batman and Robin, yeah, and she is. was Alfred's niece. Yeah, I mean, so <laughs> exactly. I mean, so yeah, the bar is not high to be a better Barbara Gordon. I hate that, but at the same time, <laughs> it is like she's got to actually like be somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, if they'd have gotten somebody decent, like, even if it had been, like, someone else, I don't know. Because look what they did with um, Marie Montoya's coming to Batwoman. And they recasted the same actress who played Renee Montoya in Gotham to play the part. You know what I'm saying? So we're, you're going to get somebody who's already played this character and established himself to be this. And here we are now with this Barbara Gordon, and I don't know. I got it's going to be... Question. What is what are the what direction are we going? Because everything about DC movies, there it's like the timeline right now and the TVA. It's like it's everywhere. There yeah. is no direction. We don't know what the hell we're gonna get. Like casting somebody who could potentially do good doesn't mean we're gonna get something good out of it. You know what I mean? Right. Will that be the result of the MCU? MCU? So it's used to, it's to a universe within the movie that we kind of are now expecting that, expecting that a, a publication, publication. Because from, because from what I understand, DC is no longer doing a line, a, a canon style universe. It's no. more than one shot, one shots left and right. Yeah. Yeah, they bought they bought their universe and now they just want to go away with it. But that's and, the thing though; they can bring it back with Flashpoint. They can start yeah, all over and give us continuity. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, I, they, yeah, they screwed that up. They should have Zach run it to run it. To <laughs> I read that. That was great. <laughs> but I see I, when I read articles about her, and I see you know Ace brought up you know she was on the heist, and everybody praised her on the heist from what I read. So if everybody is looking at what she did on that show and how she portrayed herself on that show, and then I think there's a possibility that she's going to do good as Batwoman. I mean, as Batgirl. So I'm 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 looking forward to it. No, I didn't have a problem with the casting. You know, in terms of my, my my view. I know a lot of people didn't like the fact that, once again, there was no redhead casted 
as a G man. Right. Made hell about that boy. Hair. I was born. Hair. <laughs> <laughs> that makes her pop. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why would you want to see Melissa show up as Supergirl? She's stiff as all outdoors. <laughs> <laughs> she is the stiffest character on that entire series. I stopped, watching. I stopped watching that show when they kept doing John Man- Martian Manhunter Dirty Man. I was like, yeah, I liked that Martian Manhunter as a character, but man, they kept screwing him over so much. I was like, man, fuck this show. When they made Jimmy Olsen Guardian, Guardian? I was done. Right. I didn't I didn't even like Jimmy Olsen being black and buff. I I'm like, I fuck? didn't either. I did not either. I I didn't even care about him being black, but this dude was swole. Right. It's way I, too swole. And the only time I seen Jimmy Olsen swole when he was in the alternate universe with Ultraman. Right. Or whatever when he was the Ultraman. Black. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. He, Christ on man. two worlds. Yep. Right. Man. Of course, of course, before you, you, you just brought up, some, brought up something. Uh, uh, do you think a comic collector interviews of views coming upcoming Announcement, announcement. I.e., Barbara Gordon, you know, he's being Barbara, being Barbara Gordon had red hair, or, or Jimmy, Jimmy Olsen, big dude. Is there a, is there a level, a level, okay, now, now you're going way out of, you know, the, 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 the comic vision into this new world of, of does that affect you at all? Or can you go in there, go in there and say, this is how they Jimmy Olsen. This is and they have how they have Batgirl. What they have what they have in mind, or are you already stuck in the mind frame? Mind frame where it's like the same. My just take my my body, take my body. I so with me, it certain characters. I don't think they should change the race of, but it also depends on the storyline if it makes yes. sense. Right. So Barbara Gordon, in this, if you look at the upcoming Batman. Jim Gordon is black, so th- right. it falls right into into play with that. I I get that, but like when you go to Man of Steel, and even though I love um, Lawrence Fishburne, he yeah. should have never played Perry White. Perry White because he didn't he didn't necessarily hurt the movie, but he didn't progress it at all. You know what I'm saying? Like right. now with Michael B. Jordan supposedly playing a black. Superman, why would you go do that when all you could do is all you got to do is have him play another black character? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You have all of this history and you got the characters behind you. Use that instead of trying to twist everything around. I right. get, I get everything happened. I, I appreciate them bringing awareness to to the black culture and everything, but that history that we grew up reading, you know, sometimes you don't need to mess with that. Use the stuff that's out there because that's a part of the history as well. Stop trying to sway things and give us what we've been waiting to see. But, you know, that's more, I mean, I know it's on the topic for like later, Matt, but as far as Michael B. Jordan, that's more him because when you read the article, it was his production company and they they did, if Warner Brothers didn't go, hey, Michael B. Jordan, you want to be, you want to be a black man? He was like, I got a production company. I yeah. want to be a black Superman. I'm gonna make a movie where I get to be a black Superman. That's yeah. him. Yeah. That's him making that choice. Then, Not, then put it on YouTube. You need to stop. But, you, but again, <laughs> he ain't gonna put it on you. At best, a, it'll be an give, Amazon exclusive. And, and like, let me tell you something. Amazon it, Amazon it's a lot of stuff that's on YouTube. That's amazing. Alone, like oh, if you I, go I back and look I, at that Power Rangers movie that man, it was that, dope. Um, that they did. Ooh. That was the best Power Ranger movie ever, in my opinion. Them lightsaber battles on YouTube were crazy. <laughs> if you go back and look at um uh, dude if better you, than speaking flash. of lightsabers. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I already know about that damn flash. The flash? I I ain't watched it because I just can't I don't I watch it. I, I, I don't watch it. I done heard oh so much about God. this. Well, I, I, I tell you what, I I, exactly. I'm go. I, I got a surprise here for Sean. Exactly. I got a surprise for Sean. <laughs> I like Go that. Crazy. That's great. Go awesome. Awesome. That's what I want, Rob. But yeah, I don't want Michael B. Jordan playing him. He he, he trying to be. do too much, man. He's gonna be he's gonna be Val Zod. He's gonna be the Superman from the Earth Two comic yeah. book. 
Exactly. He's not even going to be president. He's going to be that comic book we saw for $1,000. Right. He's going to be Earth, he's gonna be Earth, <laughs> gonna be Earth too. Maybe I'm that's gonna, why it was so expensive. Yeah, that's why it was expensive. because Michael, Michael B. Jordan's George is going to be I the Earth 2 to, I need y'all to send me that link because I ain't seen none of that. Man, they had the Earth 2 19 for $1,000. I dropped, I dropped yeah. it in our uh, Facebook yeah. chat, X, I, the I'll article. Go back and look for it. Yeah, the article I'll, with I'll Michael B. Jordan. Yeah. But that's just that was him decide I want to be Superman, so I'm gonna go be this black Superman. And you yeah, didn't even better, choose. He better shut up and stay Killmonger. Like he didn't even choose to be like. <laughs> yeah, he like go back. Every he better do every what if um <laughs> man. Yeah, he's using his likeness on the way up, man. He got he got a he, he better he better cash the royalty checks and call it a day. If I was casting the MCU role. I ain't worried about nothing else. I'm finna stay there as long as they allow me. You know Gravy how, train I, with you know how long wheels. Disney money you is. see everybody else making all these extra. Hey, that's, that's what Loki said. Loki said, I'll be Loki for the rest of my life. All right. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be old my Loki. Like, Loki y'all Loki. He, he, he gonna become that old Loki. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. And I'll be right there. And Loki and his now. character can get old with him, man. He said, he said. I mean, yeah, just dude, like Michael Jackson, all, y'all put all this CGI on me, make me young, old, middle age. Whatever. I don't care. I'm yeah. doing it. Get cash right. that check. Sean, yep. I got. I saw this. I saw this one here, buddy. And I said, "Oh shit, me and Sean, we we can dog this shit out tonight." Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead here. Let me let me go ahead and put the chat screen up. Let me get the audio lined up, oh, ready oh. to go, this ready to go. go, ready to go. The Walking Dead trailer. The Lord. walking sleep. I Final didn't even watch it, bro. You motherfuckers ain't slick. You threw that shit in that thing, and somebody was gonna be like, "Oh man, I gotta watch to find out what the fuck that is." No, yeah, I don't. Exactly. No, no, I'm not. No, <laughs> I'm I am in, not. I'm not impressed. You're not gonna get me. Wow. No, sir. Not today, Satan. Next segment. What, what'd, you say, what'd you say, G man? What'd you say, bro? Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievably bored. Yeah. The walking sleep. They had a bunch of stormtroopers on there. I see right. that. <laughs> what's, what's bad is fear the walking dead is even worse. All right, so this this is a this is a new segment that me and Al concocted this week. I'm using one of Al's work, concocted, you know. Concocted. And uh <laughs> and uh he <laughs> made a, a drop. Make sure y'all pay attention on this drop. This this shit here, man, is hilarious. And uh, this next segment is uh, is called uh, no, I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna let them see. All right, here we go. Here, Pierre, weigh this up. Yes, sir. And comments. keep your thumb off of them scales, or I'll blow it off. She's pretty small. Ten dollars. Ten dollars? Why, it's getting so a man can't earn a dishonest living no more. There's gold in them die hills. Well, <laughs> back with another one, eh? Eh, uh, how about a couple of carrots for this prop here? Of course. Keep the change, Doc. Y'all been working. Al been working double time on the under. Man, when I saw Boy. that shit, I bought comments, man. I'm going to play that shit. I'm going back. I want to see y'all can't pay real close attention to the signs. In, in there. All right, here we go. Pay real close attention to the signs that's in there. Sean. up yes sir and keep your thumb off of them scales or i'll blow it off she's pretty small ten dollars ten dollars why it's getting so a man can't earn a dishonest living no more there's gold in them die hills well back with another one eh eh uh how about a couple of carrots for this rock pier of course Keep the change, Doc. <laughs> I saw man. Biscuit Bill. Biscuit well Bill. Done. Well done, hey, done. Oh, man. You, you, you did a better job looking for these than we did. We got the right to mark these shits up. Let's mark, mark these up. Yep. So, so, fool's goal, so what fool's goal is, is in reverse. Oh. Of you must be out of your damn mind. So fool's goal are books that came out that, that were hot this time last year. And then we circle back to see what fool messed up down the line. And so we've got the 
world famous CBSI hot top hot ten top tens comics list from this time last year. And so we're gonna go down this list. And some of these you may have, some of these you may have not, you may not have. But it was amazing that this time last year people were paying five hundred dollars for you saga you jimbo. Mm. I think that was still going for about two fifty, if I'm not mistaken. But there's one or two. On, there's one on here specific that I want to highlight. We all know T Teen Titans twelve is a, a relative is, is up there. We all know that. Yep. This one was was is up there as well. I know this one is up there. That's a hard book to find. That uh Walt Disney variant. Sleeping Beauties. I mean, this was at the craze of of at the height of the Peach Pomoko craze. Mm -hmm. Uh, new Avengers Seven that just actually just started going up. Now that that just started going up within the last week or two. Yep. Uh, is Superman. The, is this the current top ten or this is last year's? Top last ten? year's top okay. ten. Okay. okay. This is last year's top ten. Okay. One. You remember this one here? I remember yeah. this one. This came out too. Yeah. Zero seven. Oh Lord, that Negan. <laughs> yeah. 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 So oh, so what about that Negan now? Wow. That, and that's exactly what we're going to. Oh, $1, I'm curious about this. That book, let's go back. That book it, last year, a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars. What's it now? You can buy the whole set. Tree oh, fitting. Four. Oh my goodness. Four twenty five. He said for tree fitting. <laughs> right, like I wasn't that far away. Look at it. Tree tree for all you newbie collectors out here, here's a lesson learned right here. Boy, I'm telling yeah, you. We, we can go right down the list. Well, those are all nine eights too, huh? For all my investment buddies out there that are watching this, th here's a lesson $59. to be learned. Man. $59. Hey, how, hey, how, how, do, how does our shop owner down, uh, over there on Riverside, how do you say it? How do you say it? Hey, man, hey, man, that book's hot, man. That book's hot. <laughs> <laughs> What's the gold foil one going for? That was going for like three or four hundred dollars. I remember yeah, that one was hot. Yeah, that was ridiculously priced. It's a hundred bucks now. Chad. Yeah, yeah. What's up, Chad? What's up, Chad? Man, I mean, this is a classic example of FOMO. How FOMO will backfire on you? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, no. there was nothing in the book, though, right? There was nothing to warrant. Negan lived. It was just the cover. The cover was a great right. cover. Yeah, it was was I mean, like it was one shot, and then it was like, okay, so he lived, but what? Like, right? Like, so it was like it meant nothing. It was just like a shocker. It was like, oh, okay, yeah. I didn't even buy it, man. I, yeah, was, I wasn't. Yeah, even I, I, I just, that, there you go, uh, G man. I didn't even like Negan as a seventy-five character. bucks. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no. I take that back. I oh, think it was God. cool until Jeffrey Dean Morgan played him, and I hated him. <laughs> wow! I thought I seen him on a on a HIV uh, medication commercial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did see him on a commercial too, G man. I, I was like, man, this dude has jumped the shark already. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, Matt? No, All right, so no, no, I'm, I'm in. A, I'm in. A, uh, uh, I saw the same commercial, uh, Remo. Now, uh, <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking to myself, like, for, for this next part, this next one, because I'm going to hop over one or two things because I, I really want to get on this here. Since we're talking about Fool's Gold, I'm going to play Fool's Gold again before I get to this, and I'm going to open it up with the screen if I can time it right. All right, here we go. I'm playing Fool's Gold again. This is a, this is an addition that connects to all this, and you, you'll see once I, once I roll it. Here we go. Let's here, Pierre, weigh this up. Yes, sir. Then keep your thumb off of them scales, or I'll blow it off. She's pretty small. Ten dollars. Ten dollars? Why, it's getting so a man can't earn a dishonest living no more. There's gold in them die hills. Well, back with another one, eh? Eh, uh, how about a couple of carrots for this rock, Pierre? Of course. Keep the change, Doc. Yep. Of course. <laughs> we're not talking about this bear. We're not talking the Hulk. Bear with me, comic fam. We'll get to it. We have the first appearance of the Soviet super soldiers, Dark Star, Crimson, Dynamo, Vanguard, and Ursa Major. 
$50 average sales, $500 for a CGC 9.8, and it is a 1,180%. Okay, if I could share about a face on the panel right now. <laughs> the fuck is this? The Dutch giant actually. You, you never seen this before? <laughs> dude, that dude is that fucking big? Hey, listen, 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 oh, listen, listen. Huge. God damn. Listen, listen, listen. Oh, let me go back. 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 Yes. The appearance of the Soviet super soldiers, and we know that this week the Dutch giant actually tweeted out that there's confirmation that his character in the Black Widow movie is absolutely Ursa Major, which does make him the earliest actual mutant in the MCU. This is great news, guys. We saw the Dutch giant in Black Widow. In Look, at Tito. Look at Tito. Look at Tito. Look at Tito. Shut it down, Matt. All right. Oh, I got you, G-Man. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, just, all. they just cut it off for a minute. Your stream went just dead for a second. All right. It said it's unavailable. They just stopped it. Oh, you All got right. to be kidding me, man. No, you had a violation. Oh. A violation of something. Ah. It probably, yeah, it's stupid. So oh, stupid. Oh, my Lord. We're not minty fresh anymore? No. Oh, man. We didn't have enough said. We got it out. We're going to reach out. We didn't have enough said. No worries. Oh, my God. Hold on, fellas. Hold on. Oh, my God. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Refresh, refresh your yeah. stream. Hold on. All right. Hold on. Let me. Let me. Yeah, they just cut you off, buddy. All right. Hold on just a second, Jimmy. I'm going to end this broadcast, y'all. Yeah, come back. Yeah, I'm gonna, and then we'll come back. Hold on.